teach you how to make a delicious seasonal pie out of acorn squash. Okay, so we're gonna start off by dealing with our squash, obviously. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm a huge advocate of improvising in the kitchen. This is an acorn squash pie recipe, but I only had one small acorn squash and I had a bunch of these beautiful carnival squashes. So this is what I actually used to make the pie filling. So again, you're gonna slice this in half and you're gonna scoop out the seeds and guts. And you can see that this one is already baked. It's nice and soft. And I put about an inch of water in the bottom of a baking dish. You put these in um, meat side down like this and then you bake them for about 35, 40 minutes at 350 until they're really soft. And you check the softness by just sticking a fork in the skin. So this is about two cups of a combination of acorn and carnival squash. So we're gonna start by putting all of our ingredients in the food processor. This is two and a half cups, a combination of acorn and butternut squash. And then I'm gonna add about a half a cup of maple syrup. And I'm going to add my spices. I have here a half teaspoon cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon nutmeg, and two teaspoons tarragon. And then I've got three fourths cup silken tofu. And this is what's going to give our pie a nice creamy texture. So I'm going to use lemon zest. And it's just a fourth teaspoon lemon zest. I am such an advocate of improvising in the kitchen. You just want to work with what you have on hand. And citrus fruits all translate with each other really well. So that should be good. It's just to add a little flavor. And I'm, I use citrus in so many different dishes and lemons are something you should always have around. So now we're just going to puree our pie filling together. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Mm, it smells yummy. Wanna make sure we puree it until it's nice and creamy. And then I have here one recipe for a vegan pie crust. So to make vegan pie crust, you really just wanna use organic whole wheat flour and you're gonna substitute the shortening that a traditional pie crust recipe calls for, for palm oil shortening. That's what I always use is palm oil shortening. So now we're just gonna fill our pie. It's gonna pour the filling we made into our pie crust. This is a nine inch pie. You can also find vegan pie crust at any health food store if you're not a big baker. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think that making crust is difficult. It's just rolling it out and getting it even uh, an even thickness does take a little practice. I actually love making pie crust. I don't find it very difficult, but like I said, it does take practice. So there we go. Our pie is filled. Now we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 40 minutes. Thank you so much for watching this video about how to make a corn squash pie. I hope you enjoy serving this to your family this holiday season. Have a great day.